Good morning. This is my college morning routine for days that I have to go on campus. And let me just say, I am really grateful for college that is for all ages. As someone who suffers with high functioning depression, it is very fulfilling. So I'm going to start by checking my school email. And now I am writing my to-do list on pen and paper because I am old fashioned. I grew up in the days of planners, notebooks, journals, and this is before, even before mechanical pencils, but y'all don't care about that that's just how i do it and of course i'm gonna take this opportunity to be nosy look outside see what's going on out there so the very next thing i'm going to do is head to the bathroom so that i can brush my teeth wash my face and wash my butt that's how i say it i know y'all say take a bath or take a shower but it is what it is and it won't what it won't so i just showed my toothbrush toothpaste and mouthwash but did not show me brushing my teeth because i personally hate to see or hear anybody else brushing their teeth next i'm going to take my soap which is called sweet spots labs i am using the unscented one today this is just a ph balancing wash for all over very gentle it ain't gonna make you break out or anything like that because it's close to the ph of a female skin next i'm gonna take my rag and wash my face like a black mother my face washing style is very much survival of the fittest it's definitely giving scrub a dub dub and no it doesn't hurt i'm just thorough when it comes to cleaning so of course after that i got all kind of eyelashes in my eye that i don't scrub like a crazy woman but i'm good excuse the faces y'all next i'm just going to put on my hyaluronic acid by the ordinary and fan it dry it's kind of sticky i don't know if it comes across on camera but it's really like a humectant which is like honey or something helps your other products to stick to the skin and of course hyaluronic acid helps to moisturize the skin once that's done i'm going to put on my vitamin c i'll insert a picture and put the name on the screen i don't have it off the top of my head and my sunscreen of course i use the what say cetaphil yeah cetaphil sunscreen no i do not like it because it burns my eyeballs anytime i get it in my eyes if you saw my very first video, I ended up getting teary-eyed and baby, I was struggling. Plus, this sunscreen does not mix well with my other products, so it causes all three to kind of flake off. So, long to the short, this ain't for me. And y'all have to forgive me for this awkward moment. I don't really know how to end the video clips like the kids these days, you know, to be throwing up a peace sign here and there. But um, anyhow, next is the shower routine. I love a good old two rag combo and of course we're going to turn the water on slow because it's freezing cold outside we don't want our pipes to burst but we still got to wash that butt so we'll slowly get that water warm and as you see I got a smorgasbord of different soaps here I'm gonna be honest I went for the bar of soap the good old rag and bar of soap always gonna get the job done after my shower I am going in with an unscented lotion because I'm trying some new fragrances this week. I had that water bottle there and I'm just showing you guys that this is lotion. It is very big and it's watery so a little bit goes a long way which makes my dollar stretch so I love it. I'll link everything down below if anybody is interested and like I say I'm going with unscented so that our perfume this week can shine. I got seven new fragrances from this brand called Kumba Made and this is not my first time using this brand Kumba Made. I have quite a nice collection so I really do enjoy them in real life. All this was purchased with my own money, it's not sponsored or affiliated. However, I am happy to say they do know who I am because when I made my last purchase they had a comment section and I told them who I was here on YouTube and they said they would be looking for my next video so I thought that was very sweet, very personable of them to write me a handwritten note as a brand. So I will be reviewing all my Kumba May fragrances this Saturday and this is just another um natural perfume i have by a brand called lush so i'm into it y'all so next we're moving into my breakfast i know this is a little cray jamaican food for breakfast honey bun cake and rum punch for breakfast yes 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 food makes me happy um that's my truth i am a thick girl i like to eat i cook this food and i'm gonna eat it i'm thinking to myself should i like make some cutie cutesy little breakfast and and do it like the girls but i'm like no I'm gonna be real if you love me for it I love you back and if you don't then hey I ain't got to be everybody's cup of tea 
but of course next i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and the first outfit i picked out y'all it's cute it's this two-piece that i got from rainbow it was just way too cold for that set so i'm saving it for another day i went ahead and switched over to a long sleeve two-piece set with the hood on it now i got that slit in the side and i know i need to have a tank top on up under that but i'm gonna finally tell y'all what type of class i'm taking on campus i am taking a swimming class on campus like i mentioned in my first video i have a fear of drowning so yeah I'm in swim classes till I can get this thing right, until I can at least survive. Swimming is an essential life skill and I'm trying to get it together, y'all. So yeah, here's my swim stuff. I put it in my bag. Off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and crank my car up to heat it up and it has remote start, y'all, so it'll heat the seats up and everything. Y'all listen to this. So y'all are catching editing me looking busted because I did not do a proper outro. So this is pretty much me just saying that I hope you guys have a blessed week. Wherever you are, like I said, I am struggling with high functioning depression. So just know, even in this state, I know that it will get better. Things do get better. I know that sounds kind of lame or whatever, but it's the truth. You have to keep going, find something fulfilling like I did. I got laid off last year in April. It was Good Friday. Yeah, I haven't been able to get a job since and it's not lazy. I've been in my field for five years. Like I'm a seasoned vet at what I do. I've never had a hard time getting a job. It's just one of those seasons. It's one of those times. It's like when the pandemic hit, it's one of those things. But what can you do? God woke me up with breath of my body, so who am I to give up on myself? Um, my body, he said, it's not my own. It's a temple of the Holy Spirit. Y'all ain't faith people or Christians or whatever. Work with me. Feel this how you feel it in your own way. Like, even if you're not a believer, you might can still relate to me. You got to keep going. You got to find something that fulfills you. So for me, it's the swimming classes. It's the college classes. It's the interactions with my professors and my classmates because it's not my uh, co-workers, you know, at this time. It's my gardening. It's just all these little things that I find time to keep going is exercising, is getting, making the effort to get daily sunlight, is journaling, is keep going. That's all I basically want to say. So I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm going to try to upload every weekend. So far, I've done that other than this video. This video is getting uploaded what's today, Tuesday. So y'all forgive me for the late upload. Um, it's helping me keep up with the weeks so far in the year. Um, it was my New Year's resolution. And I'm so sorry, the camera is shaking. The upper body arm strength is not there. Um, it's helping me keep up with the weeks in the new year. So every week I post a video, which helps me to know, okay, we've gotten three weeks into the year, four weeks into the year and so far and so on. I want to say thank you to my two subscribers so far. If you made it to the end, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I do comment back. I'm genuine and down to earth and we can talk. Y'all have a blessed day. Catch you on the next one. She's the late bloomer tales, baby.